Hey there guys. In today's video, I will be making a slow cooker recipe and taking you guys along for a clean with me. Uh, the recipe I'll be using is right here in this magazine. It's a slow cooker smoked sausage minestrone. So I have everything all set up. I will make the recipe, then we will clean up, and then I'm gonna run out the door and take the kids to piano lessons. So everything will be nice and tidy when I get home. Food will be made, clean kitchen will be ready for me. There's nothing more that I like than that. I hate coming home to a messy kitchen. So let's get started. I'm gonna get started by setting out all of my ingredients out on the island. It just makes it a lot easier to just have it all within my reach so I can just um, chop it up and put it in a crock pot rather than having to go around the kitchen and reaching for things here and there. I'll start by cutting a cup and a half of carrots. I've peeled them and now I'm chopping them up into quarters. and a half of chopped up celery so I'm gonna wash it over at the sink and cut off the ends and chop it up into little pieces sausage here and I'm just going to cut this up into bite-sized pieces. Um, my kids actually really like smoked sausage. They'll eat it with crackers and cheese sometimes for a snack or even just sometimes on its own. So I figured that this soup would be something that they would really enjoy. the only one who has this problem but I love onions and my husband loves onions but the kids hate onions so often we are stuck making our onions separately and um, adding it into our food afterwards so here I'm just gonna chop up the onions and I will saute it and add it to my soup afterwards so here I'm just gonna add one container of broth now, after when I was just about ready to serve the soup, I noticed that one container was just not enough. So I did add one more container of broth to the soup at the end. Um, I also added two cups of water there. And here I'm just gonna add my seasoning. There's some Italian seasoning here, and I will be adding two bay leaves. The frozen peas actually get added at the end. So I'm just gonna set those aside again. Now that most of the soup prep is done, I will start putting away all of the food and get going on my kitchen tidy. This soup already smells so good and I cannot wait to give it a try later today. I am so happy that it's done and ready to go and I don't have to worry about dinner. This recipe, I will take it from this magazine and I will post it down below in the description box for you guys if you want to give it a try. I am going to get this kitchen sparkly clean. I will set aside the crock pot over there so that I can just quickly add those last couple of ingredients. Um, here I'm just going to wipe the kitchen cabinets and wipe the counters and just kind of polish everything up so it looks really tidy and everything smells fresh and clean too. I love a fresh and clean smelling kitchen. Okay, so I know many of you are probably wondering why in the world does she have a bowl under her dishwasher? 
So the reason for this is because, I don't know why, but the brackets that support the dishwasher keep coming off and keep breaking. So the dishwasher kind of keeps leaning forward. So we have to get that fixed again because it's happened for like the fifth time. I don't know if it's sometimes the kids just kind of put their weight on there or what, but um, that's the reason for the bowl. <laughs> out of my kitchen window. I just thought it was just so nice and sunny and bright out today. Just a really nice winter day. So I just thought I'd give you guys a little peek of what it looks like when I'm doing my dishes and looking out of my window.
hours into the cooking process. I had it on the high setting. So now I'm just gonna be adding one cup of peas as well as one cup of pasta. Now the reason we're adding it towards the end is because we don't want the pasta and the peas to get all smushy in our soup. So I will be cooking it for about another 20 minutes and then it should be ready to serve. This soup was a hit. It's definitely a recipe I will be making again. Now I get to enjoy a clean kitchen for the rest of the evening and just relax with my family. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button below. I've hit a thousand subscribers and I cannot thank you guys enough. I am so excited and I'm so looking forward to the videos I'll be making in the future and I would love to have you guys along with me. Also, I love reading your comments, so feel free to comment below and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye. Hey there, guys. My dishwasher is making a bunch of noise. This is not good. Okay. Um, let's wait for it to be quiet.